Hey friends, I've been using my cheap RCA tablet, the Voyager 2. The phone I'm recording this on, my Samsung J3, has a 2600 milliamp battery. This thing has a 2000 milliamp battery powering a 7 inch display. So of course the battery life's going to be bad. It's the number one complaint on these cheap RCAs. But as you can see, I'm down here to 8%. Wanted to do this video, I'm testing the full uh, battery life without dimming my screen at all, just solid. I've been working on Google Keep Notes. I got a uh, web page here on Google Chrome opened up. So the display is not shut down at all for, let's see, over two and a half hours. Yeah, about two hours and 45 minutes right now. So if you want your battery life to last longer, guys, Turn off Bluetooth if you're not using it. Don't sync, especially with the Google stuff. You gotta go into your Google settings, guys, and unsync all the apps that you don't want synced. Like, I like my Gmail synced, so I keep that enabled. But I turn off Google News Sync, Calendar, all that stuff, because it's constantly talking to Google servers if you do that in the background, chewing it up. Also, turn down your screen brightness. Um, show you here you know i've got my brightness about halfway so I'm, I'm not skimping on that another cool feature that just came along in google keep notes by the way which is really cool this has just happened today i've noticed this is that it gives you this indicator to save energy by going into a black background you can see there and using it for google keep notes which i'm using all the time another cool thing about keep notes you can send this to your Google Drive. You can copy it to Google Docs. It's really cool. And I've checked it out that um, you can actually upload this to Google Docs, guys, when you make a note in Keep Notes, and you can upload that to your Google Docs and then delete it in your Keep Notes, and the file remains in your Google Docs. And I'm using Gboard as a keyboard. And uh, yeah, so. That's what I do. You can also change this, the uh, text font size if you want under your settings as a system-wide thing. Like right now, I've got it on large font. By using the tips that I've suggested in this video, guys, even with this cheap RCA Voyager tablet, you can get three hours. That is well below. It's actually exactly half the manufacturer's specs of quote-unquote up to six hours, man. But that is total BS. I mean, RCA, that is really not cool to say up to six hours when, in fact, I've got this thing on display halfway, turning off sync, um, and I'm getting three hours. So really, realistically, guys, RCA... Just in the, in the name of full disclosure and not deceiving customers... You should really be advertising this as maybe up to, I would say, tops, guys, four hours. Now, if you were going to watch movies on this thing, I can guarantee you I would not have gotten three hours watching YouTube videos. No way, Jose. You know, it works perfectly good for YouTube, and it's a nice large screen, so you get a lot of viewing room there. Um, but just that... I really doubt you're going to get three hours of battery life using this RCA Voyager tablet with non-stop video or gaming. That's my point. However, you still can watch videos on it. If you want to carry around a tablet to watch movies, you know, movies that are two to three hours long, definitely get a better tablet because you're going to be really disappointed getting knowing that. Battery is low. We're now down to 5%, getting a little warning there. So just as a heads up, guys, yes, you can watch videos. It's pretty cool to watch some videos. But it's this is a good mixed-use tablet, if you follow what I'm saying. I predominantly am using it for uh, word processing, internet browsing, Google Keep Notes, but it is fun to watch a few videos, too, during your sesh. So having said that, now you've got all the facts. This is Paul out. Thanks for watching.